Hey guys, it's Brian, Director of the Customer Experience. Welcome to the second Christmas Keys Jazz video in this series. Now if you missed the first video clip, it's alright. You can still access it by clicking the link down below on this page. And believe me, you don't want to miss it. Now as far as this clip is concerned though, get ready because we're peeling back the curtain even more so by unveiling yet another opening of yet another song that's going to be taught and covered in this year's Christmas Keys Jazz series. Okay, so don't forget to note the release date. All right, we can't wait to get this one out to you. Now, without further ado, here's James. Hi, welcome back. Hopefully you recognize that one. If you don't, you're going to learn it. That's one of my favorite tunes, Silent Night. In a little bit of a different way, um, this was written in 3-4, so I'm going to teach it kind of in a, in a similar way to what you saw before to kind of keep things consistent. A nice feel there. I'll get back to that feel kind of in advanced video. But first, before I look in, to kind of the secrets behind Silent Night, how to get some great chords behind it, how to jazzify it, if you will, I want to tell a quick story. Uh, I was talking to my mom earlier today before we started shooting, and she told me that when I was a very, very young baby and infant, I was born 14 weeks early. I was born very, very premature. I was very sick uh, for the first three months of my life. So all of my development up till when I was probably five years old was delayed. My speech was really, really delayed. But what she said was I was able to hum like 30 tunes long before I could talk. So they knew development was probably OK. It was just a little bit late in terms of expressing uh, itself. So I was, I was good. Obviously, I could hear stuff and, and hum it. But what she also said is, when I was young, one of my first words was peace. And I'd look up at her and I'd say, peace, peace. And it took you know months to figure out, why does this baby <laughs> keep saying peace to me? What are you talking about? She finally figured it out. Sleep in heavenly peace is the last lyric. Uh, for Silent Night. So this does uh, hold a very special place in my heart and let's go ahead and take a look. So we're going to start on C major here. This is kind of like the basic version. So we're going to do something very similar to what you saw before in our Christmas tree where we kind of hold the chords and just play the melody in the top part of your right hand. So something like this and I will slow it down. So that's the deal. It's a dotted quarter to eighth to a quarter. So it's one and two and three one, whole note. Again, two and three, one, okay, is what you play. So just get the melody, three, G, A, G, E. One and two and three, one, two, three. One, two and three, one, okay. I like to start this way. Perfect C major, seven voicing, C, G and B, E, G in your right hand. Or you can make it the six as well, major six, A. Okay, that's one way you can do it. Or you can play the root as well again. That's kind of like a shell voicing or skeleton. There are a lot of different ways to say it. Uh, a lot of times you get minor seconds in voicings and people kind of will call those shells, B, C, E. But I like this, it's clean. Now this is nice, even though this is kind of basic, you do a little bit of inner voice work, one and two and three and... 
So that B goes down to A. So that's the first part. One and two and three. One, two, three. One, two, and three. We're going to go into, in the fourth bar there, right silent night happens twice, into this chord. Two and three. So that right there is just dominant seven. B flat E in my right hand, C in my left hand. But what if I did over holy night, silent night, holy night. It's a little out of my focal range. This is nice. I can do the sus four, but in my left hand. This is a really, really nice trick. I can't do it in my right hand because the melody note is the three. In this, in this kind of trick, I can do it that way. So. Nine. You can also add the flat nine. So silent nine, holy nine. If you do it at the same time, that's a nice way to do some voice movement without being too complicated. Also use sixths. You could even move the chord around, but I think uh, I'm going to keep this on the basic level. So just chords and melodies. If you want more, I will expand heavily on this. Here's the <clears throat> fourth bar on night, and we can go from B flat E my left hand, C F my sorry B flat E right hand, C F left hand two. And then we go into the four. All is calm. Okay, I love these open tenths, nice and rich. That's a one, five, ten, F, C, A. And a fourth voicing in my right hand just means there are fourths in the intervals. E, A, D. It's a major six, nine chord. I have, um, well, six, nine would include the G. Um, major six the way it is, either way. Not a big difference, right? So, or you can move it up. All is calm. And then calm, you need to move the chord because we're going to get back to all is bright. Okay? Night, holy night. And then to the four here in the fourth bar, all is, now I like this. So this is a suspended. If you want to know how to play a sus4 chord, you just go to the root and you play two succeeding fourths. So G to C, perfect fourth, C to F, perfect fourth. Once you put the melody, it's a nice sound there. So all is calm. So one, two, three. You can actually change the chord if you want to be really fancy. And then all calm and make it a 13. What kind of 13 did you see a lot last time? Same thing here, flat nine. So it's like E. If you have uh, some of the other lessons, you'll know three sevens are very important to defining dominant sevens, which is what this is. And I always talk about upper structure. If you have Jazz Intensive Training Center, right? That's the year-long program. I do this very early on. What are all the different ways to alter dominant sevenths? Because that's what makes jazz sound jazz-like. E major. So if you go up the major six and play a triad, that gives you a 13 flat nine sound. So all is calm. You can hold it there if you want, or you can change it is calm and then all is bright now the easiest thing to do from all is calm all is bright is this all is calm hold this chord and then all is bright all is gets one chord and bright gets one chord so sigh one chord per bar is the basic version hold it and then 
all is bright. We're gonna take this sus4 chord, C, F, B flat, right? That's your basic sus. If you don't know how to play a sus and voice it out without the root, just start on the root. Fourths, fourths, D, A, C in the right hand. All is bright. That's where you handle that four, three suspension again in the left hand this time. So again, all is calm, all is right. Okay, you can go to round down virgin. There's other things we can do. All is calm, I talked about making that change. You can arpeggiate it, but I'll save that for the next version. And then we went here, C, F, B flat again, D, A, C. All is bright. Again, uh, we saw this somewhere in No Christmas Tree. Inner voice movement. Real, more, uh, more advanced, but nice to bring it here. And then that goes into F. One thing I want to say, let me go back to Silent Night, Holy Night at the beginning. If you've ever heard the term relative major and minor. C is related to A minor. It's the same key signature. There are no sharps and no flats. So one thing that's nice to do is, because the key signature is the same, there's nothing you need to sharp or flat, on night, you can go to A minor. Silent night. So take this C and G in your left hand and go to A and G. B, C, E in your right hand. here or you can move the inner voices at the same time nice pausing point right in terms of breathing all is calm all is right. now I can leave the chord and I can take that up if you like. That's just E in your right hand and D flat G in your, uh, I keep reversing my hands. Uh, D flat G in the right hand, E in the left hand. And then back. Okay. And let's get into round on virgin. Round on virgin. Okay, so it's one, two, three, one, and two, and three. Same thing as silent night. Rhythm-wise, you can do that. And then right to the five. So move round, yawn, verge. Child is nice to do this. It's what we did before, but it's just in your right hand. So mother and child, F, B flat, C, E, and that can move down. Wow, I really hope you enjoyed that clip. I mean, it got me. Something about the holiday season gets me every time. Well, anyway, let us know what you think by commenting below. Okay, we read and try to reply to as many comments as we can. And your feedback and dialogue is certainly valued and always appreciated. And remember, note that release date coming real soon. This is a course you definitely don't want to miss out on. Okay, so this has been Brian signing off. And remember, if you can hear it, you can play it.